Amendment by Goodwin. The chair recognizes Ms. Goodwin to explain the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, this bill is about political advertising, and my amendment is about political contributions. So currently, we don't have a cap or a limit on how much people can contribute to our campaigns, which I think is um, unusual. We have that at the federal level. Congressional candidates have a certain limit that they can accept per person. Uh, so my amendment caps state representative and, and state office holders campaign contributions to 50 times what a congressional candidate could get. So not a super low limit. I mean, this should be acceptable. And uh, so I move adoption. The chair recognizes Mr. Guerin in opposition to the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, uh, Ms. Ms. Goodwin's amendment limits the amount of campaign contributions that you can accept. And I don't believe that in the state of Texas we need that limit on our contributions, and I am opposing the amendment. I urge you to vote no on the amendment. The chair recognizes Ms. Goodwin to close on the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, I ask you, have you not heard from constituents in your districts asking you, how much can I contribute? And, and aren't they surprised when you tell them you can contribute any amount you want? I have uh, family members who live out of state, and every time I've run, my uncle has called and said, how much can I contribute to you? And I remind him, there's no limit. You want to send me a million dollars? You can. So, members, I know if we limit it to something really small, many of you would be against that. And that's why I made this a very expansive limitation of 50, five zero times what a federal candidate can get. Now, surely we could live with that amount. That's a pretty high cap. So, um, you know, a, a lot of our constituents would appreciate that we are looking at campaign finance reform. Uh, I think across the board, Republicans and Democrats think that we should have some limits on how much we can collect. So members, I ask that you vote for my amendment. I move adoption. Ms. Goodwin sends up an amendment. The amendment is not acceptable to the author. The question occurs on the adoption of the amendment. This is a record vote. The clerk reading the bill. Should Ms. Goodwin voting aye, Mr. Guerin voting no. Ms. Wiener voting aye. Have all members voted? So Mr. Rosenthal voting aye. There being 49 ayes, 91 nays, the amendment fails to adopt. The following amendment, the clerk read the amendment. Amendment by Goodwin.